All right, so this video is about trig ratios. We want to do it really quickly. We're only going to be talking about right angle triangles here, and you're going to remember soca to ah. Uh, so this is year nine stuff. You've learned it before. Let's do it real fast. The three right angle triangles, three different kinds of question. Let's take a look. Uh, this is a right angle. We've got theta here. We know that theta is equal to 23. Uh, now, this is the hypotenuse because it's opposite the right angle. Um, this side here is the opposite side to the angle. So we can say that opposite equals x. And this side is the side next to the angle that isn't the hypotenuse. So we call that adjacent. Adjacent means next to. All right, so 7. Uh, now, we go back to our trig ratios, so katoa, and we ask ourselves, which of these trig ratios has opposite and adjacent in it? Opposite and hypotenuse, adjacent and hypotenuse, opposite and adjacent. The tan ratio is the one we want. So we say that tan theta equals opposite over adjacent. We put in the information, tan 23 is our angle, equals opposite x over adjacent 7. We rearrange by multiplying both sides by 7. 7 tan 23 equals x. We type that into our calculator, making sure we're in degrees mode. And therefore, x equals 2.97. Stop and think for a minute. Does that make sense? All right, 23, that's actually a much smaller angle than how I've drawn it. Does 2.97 make sense there if that angle looked more like 23 degrees? Yeah, I think it does. Good. Finished. Next, there's an angle here, 42. Uh, now, this long side here, opposite the right angle, is our hypotenuse. So we can say that our hypotenuse is x. And this side is opposite the angle that we're talking about. So, interestingly enough, it's called the opposite. All right, stop, think, Sokotoa. Um, I'm looking for a ratio that has the O and the H in it. S-O-H. It's the sine ratio. This is a sine question. So sine theta equals opposite over hypotenuse. Sine 42 equals 5 over x. This question's different to the previous one because the x was on the top here. The x is on the bottom here. We can just do a little bit of cross multiplying by taking all of that and that and swapping them over, moving them diagonally that way. So now we can say that x equals 5 divided by sine 42. Calculate it in degrees mode. So x equals uh, 7.47. Stop, think, does that make sense? If I put 7.47 there, it's a bit bigger than 5. It's the hypotenuse. You'd expect that. That looks about right to me. Good. Solved. Done. Last one of these. Theta. I don't know what theta is. They haven't told me. Um, now, the hypotenuse is the longer side opposite the right angle, so the h is equal to 9, and the adjacent is the side next to the angle that you could touch, so if you were standing here, let's say. All right, so that's the adjacent side. Look at our ratios. Um, a and h is what I'm looking for. O and h, no. A and h, yep, it's a cosine question. Cosine theta equals adjacent over hypotenuse. Put in my values, I don't know what theta is. Uh, adjacent is 6, hypotenuse is 9. Now I need to use inverse cos or cos to the negative 1 or shift cos, I don't care what you call it. Theta equals cos to the negative 1, 6 over 9. Try and find that button on your calculator. That gives me an answer of 48.19 degrees. Put it in there, yeah, that probably probably makes sense. All right, that's trick ratios, really fast. Sokotoa, right angle triangles. We're gonna to toss out right angle triangles. We're gonna do stuff without right angle triangles next.